The Wuppertal Suspension Railway in Germany, the oldest electric elevated railway with hanging cars, first opened in 1901, but before it opened, the Wuppertal area had looked at a similar system. In 1824, British civil engineer Henry Robinson Palmer proposed a low single rail suspension railway with carriages pulled by horses. Friedrich Hardcourt, a local steel mill owner, loved the idea. A short section was built to demonstrate the idea and he worked to get investment. Local government officials met to discuss the use of Palmer's Railway for the region, however plans for building the system failed because of objections from various parties, including mill owners who weren't going to be included. But the idea didn't entirely disappear, especially with railway building fever that was sweeping the world in the late 19th century. In 1887, the cities of Elberfeld and Barmen formed a commission for the construction of an elevated railway. By 1894, they'd chosen a design by Ergen Langen, who'd originally designed the system to sell to the city of Berlin, and two years later, the system was approved for construction. The elevated system was chosen because of the unique route that needed to be traversed. Several sections of the route would follow the river, and so having a system that could go over both roads and river was very important. The projected route would link the towns of Vorwinkel, Elberfeld and Barmen, with many stops along the way. The elevated station construction began first in 1897, followed by construction of the track the following year. The cars were suspended from a single rail built underneath a supporting steel frame. The cars hung on wheels which are driven by multiple electric motors operating at 750 volts DC, fed from a live rail below the running rail. Like many regular railway systems, they used a system of signals to hold cars or allow them to progress. The supporting frame and tracks are made out of 486 pillars and bridgework sections, and the whole endeavour used almost 20,000 metric tons of steel. The structural system was so unique at the time it was patented. At each end of the line, a servicing depot, including a loop of track, allowed the trains to be turned around. By 1900, the construction crew was getting ready to test a section out. After ensuring it was safe to run, they held a big event in October where German Emperor Wilhelm II rode in the specially inaugurated Kaiserwagen. Although not all the stations could be completed until 1903, enough were built that the railway could be officially opened in 1901. All told, it had cost 16 million marks, which is about 93 million pounds today. It opened in sections, the line from Klusia to Zustadien opened in March, the line to the western terminus at Volwinkel opened in May, while the line to the eastern terminus at Oberbarmen didn't open for another two years. But with the entire line opened, passengers could travel the 8.3 mile distance of the entire track in about 30 minutes. The railway continued to be used for the rest of the 20th century, except for during the Second World War, where it was heavily damaged. However, it was reopened just one year after the end of the war in 1946. With the Althoff Circus coming to town in the 1950s, to drum up business, one of their elephants rode the elevated railway. Although it was coaxed onto the train, once it was underway the elephant got more and more nervous with the unfamiliar noises and vibrations. It started thrashing around and eventually broke through a carriage and fell the nine metres into the Wupper River. Thankfully it sustained only minor injuries and lived for another 39 years. The circus director and train director were quite rightly fined for thinking up such a stupid idea. In 1997, work began to modernise the supporting frame. Many stations were reconstructed and brought up to date. Clouse's station was completely destroyed during the war and was reconstructed at this time. The work was planned to be completed by 2001, however a serious accident took place in 1999 which left 5 people dead and 47 injured. This, along with delivery problems, delayed completion. However, despite this modernisation work, the railway suspended operations in 2009 due to concerns over the safety of several of the existing support structures. After this work was completed, it had to shut down again in 2012 to carry out further updates. The antiquated train fleet was replaced in 2011 with new disabled access carriages. Instead of scrapping the historic carriages, they were offered to the public so long as they remained in the city of Wuppertal.
The Wuppertal Suspension Railway remains popular, carrying approximately 82,000 passengers every day, and it travels up to 37 miles an hour. Kaiser Wilhelm II's original car, the Kaiserwagen, is still operated on scheduled excursion services, special occasions, and for chartered events. Many thanks to the people over at Neural.love for allowing me to use the amazing footage that they've improved from the original 1901 print. If you want to see the entire video, please click on the link above. A big thank you to all my patrons for supporting me. To get early advert free access to new videos or to appear in the credits, please consider supporting me using the Patreon link below from just $1 or 80p a month and hit that subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.